Hail Mary, Sovereign Mother of the Good Shepherd, who became man. You watch over the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who is both God and man, Son of the Eternal Father. Hail Mary, you gave birth to Christ, while remaining a virgin, even purer and mystical Mother of the Good Shepherd. Pray for us, O Holy Mother, Mother of the Good Shepherd, and of the same Incarnate Word, that through your intercession we may be made worthy to receive what we ask for in faith. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Okay, good morning everyone. Um, I'm Ms. Manali Ann Magno and I am your speaker for this hour. First of all, I would like to thank Divina Pastora Colleges for inviting me to be the speaker for this particular topic. I am very fond of this topic because um, it is very close to my heart. But first, um, I would like to introduce myself now before I start now mag talk about um, mental health. Um, I am Ms. Manali Ann Magno and I'm a graduate of AB Psychology. I am a licensed psychometrician. Currently po, I'm finishing my master's degree in education, major in guidance and counseling. Um, I'm currently working at Wesleyan University Philippines as, as a counselor associate and also a psychometrician. I am a mental health advocate, um, specifically in breaking the stigma uh, of mental illnesses. Okay. Um, First, I would like to say hi. Again, first ako ng first, ano? But I would like to say hi to all those students uh, watching um, this webinar. I hope you are doing well and you are safe at the comforts of your home. Um, today's topic is about mental health and it is about taking care of your mental health through stress management. Okay, um, before we talk about stress management, I want to give you a little bit of knowledge about mental health and mental illness. So I prepared four folders for you. Folder 1 contains, or Folder A contains mental health and mental illnesses and their difference, okay? When we talk about mental health, it is generally a state of mind or a state of well-being. Um, it is something that should be looked after. Um, mental health is synonymous with physical health, okay? When we talk about health, it is a combination of physical and mental. Hindi sila pwede magkahiwalay. Just like hindi pwede magkahiwalay ang ating katawan at ang ating ulo or ating brain, okay? Um, part ito, no? That's why it's very important to talk about this because it involves you and me, no? Tayong lahat, 
Okay? Um, ano naman, ma'am, ang mental illness? When we talk about mental illness, it is something that disrupts your mental state and interrupts how you feel, think, communicate, and behave. Ibig sabihin, you are not in your normal state of health. Um, just like having a physical illness, just like having diabetes, having a uh, fracture on your knee, or um, or anywhere else in our body, no? Um, mental illness is just like physical illness. Okay, let's let's think about it that way. Why? Because, uh, di ba, may mga tao na nagsasabi na when you have mental illness, it's all in your mind. No, so parang i-disregard na lang sila. Pero when you see someone who has a broken knee, dinadala natin sila sa hospital. Tinitreat natin sila. Tinitherapy sila. But what's the difference of physical illness and mental illness? Parehas naman silang kailangan i-address. Kay parehas silang kailangan tulungan. So, letter B, no folder B contains the importance of mental health. It is important because it is vital to your life, to our lives. No, it impacts our thoughts, no, our behaviors and emotions. Being healthy emotionally can improve our productivity at work, school, and um, or in caregiving. It plays an important role in our um, relationships, no, and allows you to adapt change in your life and to cope with adversity. Ibig sabihin, if you have um, good mental state and pag naalagaan mo talaga ang, ang pag-iisip mo, um, mas nakaka-adapt ka sa mga challenges ng buhay. Mas maganda yung relationships mo sa ibang tao. Mas naiintindihan mo at napaprocess mo yung emotions mo. Mas naiintindihan mo yung ibang tao. Diba? That is having a good mental health. Um, I'm sorry for the noise outside na no? Okay. So yun, napaka-importante ng mental health natin. And if you are taking care of your body, if you're going out to the gym exercising, you should also exercise your mind. You should also take care of your mind. Okay? Because our mind is so powerful. Okay? So, Older C contains um, important details about stigma. And when we talk about stigma, no, um, when it is uh, mental health is heavily stigmatized, according to um, this article, when people don't know enough to recognize someone is struggling, kapag kunyari, you're not educating yourself about mental health, wala kang alam, and you do not believe that it exists, then you might do more harm than good. Okay? Um, people don't have to be crazy to be called um, uh, to be addressed no or their mental health no sabi dito when people are convinced that they would have to be crazy to have something like depression or anxiety it can be dangerous having depression or anxiety doesn't make you crazy okay and labeling is a part of a stigma that we should um, get rid of okay stop labeling people Stop judging people, okay? Let's uh, be more understanding and um, let's empathize more, okay? So, uh, sabi dito, when we stigmatize people, it prevents them to um, getting help that they may improve their quality of life. It makes them feel like they can't reach uh, out their fa to their family and friends and for assistance. Ibig sabihin, when we stigmatize, you know, um, tinatagal natin sa tao na yun parang karapatan niya or pinapafeel natin sa kanya na hindi um, undesirable yung nararamdaman niya to the point na hindi na siya hingi ng tulong. Okay? So, and it drives them away from seeking treatment or care when they need it and when they may be in danger. You know, um, I would like to um, give you a message that we as educators and also as part of the academic um, community, we should be part of the solution. Okay? By the end of this uh, seminar, I want you to be more educated about mental health. I want you to read more articles about this so that you will be educated. Pag mas madami kang alam about this, you can help people and you can save lives. Right? So for letter D, I would like to ask you a question, a very simple question. How's your battery? Not your cell phone's battery or your laptop's battery, but your battery as a person. How is it? Low bat ka na ba? Alam niyo ba na one of the reasons why we feel uh, low bat no, to ourselves uh, on ourselves is because of stress. No? 
masyado ka nang kinakain ng stress. Masyado ka nang um, uh, nasa stress sa exams, sa mga gawain sa school, sa gawain sa bahay, sa love life, etc. Ang daming pwedeng causes ng stress. E ano ba ang stress? Stress is a body response to pressure and situation or life event. Tuwing kailan ka ba nasa stress? When you feel that you are not comfortable. Nasa stress ka, for example, meron impromptu na recitation. May bigla ang quiz. May bigla ang exam. You will feel stress. What contributes to stress vary hugely from person to person. Depende sa tao. And it differs according to your social economic circumstances and environment we live in our genetic makeup. Nung nagbago yung buhay natin, nung dumating yung pandemic, di ba na-stress tayo? At some point, whether you admit it or not, you feel stressed. You feel the change kapag ta- ang tao nag adjust we feel stressed. Some common features of things that makes us feel stressed includes experiencing something new. Ayun. For example, yun nga, yung pagbabago ng buhay natin due to the pandemic. no? The new normal. Unexpected something that threatens your feeling of self and feeling you have little control over a situation. That's why we are conducting this type of seminar because it is very timely. No? about what's happening on our environment, what's happening on our lives, and um, the changes no, that comes with uh, the pandemic. So that is stress. It is a body, uh, uh, it's our body's response. Kapag nakaka-feel tayo ng mga ganitong bagay, ng mga changes, adjustments. No? Ayan. So the next is what happens to our body when we experience stress? Ano bang nangyayari sa atin? Ang nangyayari sa atin usually is that our our heart pumps so much uh, because of the hormones that comes from uh, our pituitary gland and adrenal gland. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga nilalabas ng hormones na yon? Ang pinakasikat na stress hormone ay ang cortisol. I, I hope you are familiar with this type of hormone. Cortisol. And also, lumalabas din ang adrenaline. That's why nagpa-pump na yung Um, heart natin, no? Kinakabahan tayo, kumakabog-kabog na yung heart natin. And also, bumibilis yung paghinga. Um, nagpapawis ng malamig. Nagpapawis yung kamay, di ba? Timpasmado. Ayan. Yan pala yung nangyayari. Pag na-alarma yung brain natin, lumalabas yung mga hormones, different kinds of hormones. Nagsushoot sila so that nagkakreate ng bodily response. ba? Diba? Minsan, may iba pa nga nanginginig sila. ba? Diba? Bukod sa nagpapawis yung kamay. and also nagpapawis yung katawan. Okay? So, yan yung nangyayari sa katawan natin when we feel stress. And, w- eh ma'am, what makes us stress? Marami pong bagay bakit or maraming factors bakit nasa stress ang isang tao. First, sa studyante, exams. I myself is a student, so alam ko nakaka-stress ang sa exams. Pero part yun ang buhay. Social pressure, money, family issues, Separation. Sepa- separation includes separation from your family, separation from a, or uh, separation from a loved one, separation from um, your friends, di ba? Or your house, ganyan. Economy. Sudden change, yung bigla ang pagbabago sa buhay mo. Kunyari, nag-break kayo, ganyan. Personal safety, social media, work, love life, and personal health issues. Ma'am, napakadaming stress. ba? Diba? And, ala na dyan kung studyante ka o nagtatrabaho ka. But these factors could be the reason why you feel stressed. Sobrang daming factors. But you know what? Stress is a part of life. Hindi na mawawala ang stress sa buhay natin, mga bunso. But we can manage it. And today, We are going to help you how to manage it. Okay? Hindi mo wawala yan eh. ba? Diba? Kahit na pagkat, diba? Pag kunyari, estudyante ka, nasa stress ka because of um, sa dami ng um, kailangan matapos na modules. Um, nai-stress ka kasi ang dami exam, ang dami activity, etc. Pag nagtrabaho ka, uh, pagkatapos mo mag-aral or pagka-graduate mo, masa-stress ka naman sa paghahanap ng trabaho. Next is, Pag napasok ka sa trabaho, mas stress ka sa trabaho. So, stress is everywhere. Stress is a part of life. Okay? 
Pero ano ba ang common symptoms ng stress? Next. Actually, explain ko na kanina, pero ito ulit. Ito daw yung mga common, no? According to sa statistics, irritabi- irritability or anger, fatigue or low energy, yung mga nakakapu lagi, lack of motivation and interest in things. Kunyari, dati mahilig siyang, uh, mahilig siyang mag-sayaw, uh, pero ngayon biglang hindi na. Anxiety and nervousness or ma- mahilig sa mag-worry. Hindi mas mahilig na ginusto niya yun. No? Nangyayari lang talaga because of stress and what's happening and all the problems. Headaches, no? pananakit ng ulo. Feeling sad or depressed. Magkaiba po ang depressed sa depression, ha? Um, when we say depression, ito po yung na-diagnose na. And um, sisingit ko lang po, no, na as part of psychoeducational learning about mental health, ano po ba, uh, sino po ba ang may karapatang mag-diagnose ng, depre- uh, ng tao na may depression? Psychologists and psychiatrists only. Okay? You cannot diagnose yourself. Do not uh, patronize um, yung mga nasa internet na um, depression inventory. Please. Please don't. Do not self-diagnose. It will harm you than um than uh seeking um it will harm you no than um good no it it will do more harm than good ayun na iano ko din na i-process ko din it will do more harm than good if you uh, if you think that you are suffering from mental illness or mental disorders and if you if you are concerned about it talk to a professional talk to your counselors talk to your teachers and get the help that you need okay now ano pa po? Uh, so again, depression is different from being depressed. Pwedeng you may feel depressed, but hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na um, may depression ako or may depression siya, magtuturo ka kung sino may depression without the um, assessment and also diagnosis from the psychologist. Even I as a psychometrician, um, wala akong karapatang gawin yun. Okay? I may have the test results, but it is up to the psychologist kasi pag po nag assess ng, um, ng mga mental illnesses like depression, uh, ng mental disorders like depression or anxiety, bipolar, kailangan po merong holistic assessment. Hindi lang po tinitignan ng isang exam. At hindi lang basihan ng isang exam para masabi po na merong depression, anxiety, bipolar, or kung ano mga disorder ng isang tao. Okay? Okay, too much of that. Ano pa ang symptom ng stress? indigestion, acid reflux, upset stomach. Yung mga tao na pag kunyari naka, um, bigla silang pag-recite or magsasalita sila sa harap ng maraming tao, sumasakit yung tiyan nila. Um, muscle tension dito, no? Um, appetite change, bigla na lang nagiging malakas kumain or bigla na lang ayaw kumain. So, yun daw. So, how can we manage stress, ma'am? I create a mnemonics, no? I create a mnemonics na called Ube. Siguro gusto mo ako ng ginagawa ko tong presentation na to. But um I hope um uh, it will retain to your mind, no? Kasi pag naniniwala ako na when we use mnemonics, mas nare-retain sa mind ng mga bata. So first is U, which is to understand your stressors. I will discuss that after. B is to back to basics. You can never go wrong with basics. Kapag kunyari nalilito ka sa isang bagay, bagay even in mathematics or even in any kinds of conceptual um, uh, subjects, back to basics. Back to the theory. Ganyan. And lastly is evaluate your mindset towards stress. Ube, lagi niyo tandaan niyo na first, understand your stressors. B is to back to basics. And E is um, evaluate your mindset towards stress. So, let's go uh, first with understanding your stressors. Kung ano ba ang two main stressors ng tao? Uh, we call it distress and you stress. Okay, ano ba ma'am ang distress? When we talk about distress, it is a negative type of stress. Ito yung nakakapag-cause na na-anxious ka, nag-worry ka. Uh, distress hinders a person's ability to function normally. Ibig sabihin, for example, bigla ka na lang hindi nakakatulog ng maayos because iniisip mo yung isang bagay. No, kakaisip mo sa jowa mo, um, uh, hindi ka na nakakakain. Nadi-distress kasi is, okay? You can uh, naapektuhan din yung pakikipag-communicate mo and hindi ka nakakapag-isip ng maayos. If it continues a long-term basis, it can become detrimental to a person's mental and physical health. So, kailangan, when we, uh, kailangan lagi natin ini-evaluate yung sarili natin. Nakaka-feel ba ako ng distress? Okay? And, um, before, uh, 
gamitin nyo yung mga ituturo ko mamaya kung paano i-manage yung stress kapag nakakaramdam kayo ng this type of stressors. Pero kailangan, yun nga, understand your stressors. Kailangan alam mo i-figure out kung ano bang klase ng stressors yung nararamdaman mo. Kasi, if you can figure it out, then you can make a solution. Again, what is your stress? No, the stress, negative type of stress. Your stress naman is positive. Yes, stress can be positive. Why? Um, let let me give you a very um, uh, simple no explanation about this. Stress can motivate you. Bakit? Deadlines. No? When in a state of your stress, a person feels absorbed in and intensely focused. Mas nag, may mga taong ganyan eh, mas nagpo-focus sila when they feel stressed. The task at hand, says doc, Dr. Kaur, um, there's a sense of satisfaction, motivation, excitement, and potential of experience of your stress. It lasts for a short period of time, yes, but and uh, it is a positive experience. Marami akong kailala mga taong ganyan. Now, when they feel stress, yes, nasustress nila, nahihirapan sila, They may have a, a common symptoms of stress, but they finish the job and it motivates them more. That's the beauty about stress. It is not all bad. Do not think of it as all bad because you have to understand ano bang klase ng stress yung nararamdaman mo. When it is motivating you, it is your stress. Lagi niyong tandaan yan, ha? Okay, next one to our ube is back to basics. First is to eat healthy and it includes drinking your vitamins and drinking water. Next one is be active. Bibilisan ko na lang to kasi alam kong alam nyo na to and paulit-ulit na itong pin-explain. Be active. Hindi nyo kailangan mag-exercise ng super galore. But you have to be active. No, Maglinis ka ng bahay. Basta papawisan ka. Because kapag ginagawa mo yun, yung blood mo is nagsicirculate siya ng maayos. And it will really help your brain. Diba? Next one is to be social. Napaka-importante ng social. Though, yes, right now, we may be restricted. No, hindi tayo nakakalabas. Um, Siyempre, um, kinukonsider din natin yung safety ng isa't isa. But being social doesn't only limit to um, going out with your friends. No, Makipag-chat ka sa kanila. Uh, yung mga friends mo nung high school na hindi mo masyado nakakausap, kausapin mo sila. No, Hang out with them online. Use your social media on something positive and will benefit you and the community. Okay? Next one is journaling. This is very important and um, maraming tao na disregard ang journaling. When you feel like no one can understand you, when you feel like you're not ready to open up to anyone, even your best friend, write it down. Um, kasi important ito kasi na-express mo pa rin yung nararamdaman mo. You don't have to bot- bottle it up. And and if you are ready, you can share it. Isipin nyo na lang, nakikipag-usap kayo sa sarili nyo, sa future self nyo, or to God. Journal the things that you are grateful for. Ano, uh, pagkagising mo sa umaga, what are the things that I am grateful for? Okay? Napaka-importante ng journaling. Believe it or not, sobrang importante niyan. And napakaganda niyang outlet. Also to all those people na napaka-creative, nakagawa sila ng kanta, and also nakakagawa sila ng mga poems. And sobrang na-appreciate ko talaga yung mga student na ginagawa talaga to regularly because it, sabi nila, it helps them with their anxiety, it helps them when they feel that they are lonely, and when they feel alone. Okay? Next one is practice yoga or meditation. Um, it is not about the pose. It is about being one with your mind and... Um, being focused. It will really help you focus. And you don't have to try the super hirap na mga post agad-agad. But you can start with the basics. Marami naman sa YouTube na mga basic yoga um, lessons and also the breathing exercises. Napaka-importante ng breathing exercises in um, in managing stress. Now, when you feel stress, please stop. Mag-stop ka lang and then breathe for one minute. Mag-focus ka lang sa breathing. Wala kang ibang iisipin hihinga ka lang. Okay? Napaka-importante ko ng paghinga. Napaka-importante ng oxygen sa heart natin, sa lungs natin, sa buong katawan natin, and most especially, to our brain. When you feel that you are being overwhelmed with problems, stop doing anything. Huminga ka lang. Okay? Focus on yourself. Focus on your mind. Focus on your breathing. And ma- um, sa yoga, pinapractice ko yan. Okay? And last one is prayer. If 
um, lahat ng tao tumalikod na sa'yo, ito lang yung maaasahan mo. Ito lang yung hindi tatalikod. Siya lang yung hindi tatalikod sa, sa inyo. Trust me on this. Napakadami ko nang na-experience sa life ko na there's a lot of time when I feel like I'm alone. Especially nung mga time na bata pa ako no, nung college days. When I feel like sobra na yung pressure pero pinapaalala sa akin ni God na anak you are not alone I am with you all the time I am with you always okay si pinyan when you feel like you are hurt when you feel na you are betrayed and when you feel like no one is um no one can understand you he will napaka nakakagaan ng loob po ang prayer no paggising mo sa umaga practice prayer paggising mo sa umaga read the Bible Pwede niyong gawin yan. And believe me, it will relieve your stress. And talking to God regularly will not only relieve your stress, but it will also strengthen your relationship with Him. Okay? Last one is to evaluate your uh, mindset towards stress. Paano po ba namin i-evaluate yung mindset namin? Okay. Um... Talking about stress, no? Sabi sa Ameri- uh, isang American statistics na nabasa ko, it is one of the leading cause of death. Kasi, when we feel stress, we uh, nagko-correlate siya sa mga ano eh, nag-ibang uh, mga sakit like cardiovascular diseases. Stress can, uh, sabi na rin, wala sila na stress can um, trigger that, no? Mas mag-worsen daw when we feel stress. So, for the longest time, we demonize stress. Stress is bad. But there is a concept in um, TED Talk that I have uh, um, watched yesterday. And it is a study about um, stress in general and a person's viewpoint about it. And the um, speaker is si Dr. Kelly McGonigal. Um, she is a health psychologist. And she shared the um, study at Harvard University about changing your mind about stress and how can you make friends with stress. So, sa, sa statistics, diba, sinabi nga na stress is one of the leading cause of death. But a study in Harvard um, called Social Stress Test. So, ang ginawa nila po ganito, I will explain it, makinig kayo mabuti. Merong mga participants na in-educate nila about stress. Okay? Um, in-educate nila na uh, Uh, but first, ang ginawa pala nila ganito, I'm sorry. Ang ginawa pala nila is that those participants undergo with social stress test. Binigyan nila ng iba't ibang klase ng stressors, pressure, para to make sure that these people feel stressed. Okay? And then, syempre, uh, ginamitan na nila ng mga um, um, instruments para makita if nagsasweat ba, tumataas ba yung BP, and stuff like that. So, ano bang nangyayari sa tao normally, in no, regular uh, blood vessel response when when we feel stress? Yung BV po means um, blood vessel. Ano bang nangyayari sa blood vessels ng heart natin when we feel stress? When blood rate rise up, our blood vessels constricts. Ibig sabihin, kumikipot po siya. Okay? Pero, ang ginawa kasi sa study sa Harvard is that kinondition nila yung mga participants. No? Are you familiar with classical conditioning? Parang ganun siya, but ibang klase to. Ang, ang ginawa naman nila is that they just educate the people. That what if your view about stress for the longest time is wrong? What if, di ba ang nalaman nyo kanina symptoms? What if when you feel that your heart is rising, your body is getting energized? What if, no? Instead of thinking na um, when you are breathing uh, parang super fast, di ba? Pag kunyari, di ba? Pag kunyari, sa stress ka, your breathing is abnormal. What if ang thinking mo is that you are getting more oxygen to your brain? Alam niyo ba, nung after nila i-condition yung participants, ito yung naging response. When blood rate arises, the blood vessel stays the same. It didn't constrict. Imagine the power of our mind is so good. Hindi ko sinasabing nakokontrol natin yung blood vessels. But it has to do with the hormones and chemicals on our brain. 
on how we view about stress. For the longest time, we all believe that stress is bad and stress can kill us. Yes, it is a fact that it can kill us and there's a, a statistics about it. But if we believe pala that stress can be uh kumbaga can be changed, not our mindset about stress can be changed. We can fight it. We can manage it. So ang sabi ni uh, Dr. Kelly, I no longer want you to get rid of your stress. I want you to be better at it. Okay? So, ano pa isang study? Hindi pa siya doon natapos. You know what? Stress makes you social. Paano niyo ma'am nasabi na stress makes you social? No? Paano nasabi ni Dr. Kelly yun? Are you familiar with the hormone oxytocin? Sabi na lang love hormone. Uh, cuddle hormone. Napakakit ng nipin niya. Cuddle hormone. So, yan. Cuddle hormone siya. But it is also a neurohormone. It tunes your brain to be to uh, it tunes your brain social instinct. Ibig sabihin kapag lumalabas yung um, oxytocin sa na hormone sa katawan natin or or sa pituitary gland natin, sorry, it makes you crave physical contact. Di ba parang gusto mo na akapin yung pet mo or akapin yung jowa mo or yung mother mo, kung sino man, your loved ones, no? And it enhances empathy. Hindi lang basta siya yung cuddle hormone na gusto mo makipag-akapan or or makipagkalajaan but it also enhances your human connection. It makes you more willing to help and support people you care about. But it is a stress hormone. Yes, I said that cortisol is a stress hormone. But oxytocin is a stress hormone in such way that when we experience stress, nilalabas ng pituitary gland, according to sa study ni Dr. Kelly, ha, nilalabas ng pituitary gland natin yung oxytocin. Kasi may role siya sa stress response natin. Di ba nilalabas din, uh, naglalabas din tayo ng adrenaline? It is as important as adrenaline. Okay. The role of oxytocin, ayan no, pituitary gland pumps uh, this as part of the stress response. Ano pa? It is motivating you to seek support. When we release oxytocin, we seek human connection. Hindi nyo ba naisip na, for example, you are stressed about school, or you are stressed about life, or you are stressed about something, gusto mo makipag-usap sa best friend mo. Gusto mo makipag-usap sa loved ones mo, sa mga taong pinagkakatiwalaan mo. It is because of your oxytocin. It is working. Okay? Ano pa ba? Your bio- biological stress response is nudging you to tell someone how you feel instead of bottling up. Kating-kating kang ikwento kay BFF. No, ito yung nangyari sa akin ngayon. Bad trip ako. It's your oxytocin. It is yourself battling out with stress. Ano pa? Oxytocin act on your brain and also on your body. Its main role is to protect your cardiovascular system from the effect of stress. Meron pa lang sariling role to about stress. Ang ginagawa niya is ito. It is a natural inflammatory. It makes your blood vessels relax during stress. Your heart has receptors for these hormones. So, it helps your heart cells regenerate and heal from any stress-induced damage. Napakagandang dinesign ni God yung katawan natin. Now, when we feel stress, our body is fighting also um, to relieve it. But you know what? Oxytocin also strengthens your heart. Just like stress, it strengthens you. It makes you more resilient. Diba? It enhances your social contact and support. Stress response becomes healthier and healing becomes faster. Eh, man, paano ko mapapalabas yung oxytocin ko? Paano ko hindi ko na talaga kaya i-handle yung stress? You know what? Para ma-boost natin yung oxytocin natin. Stress response is a built-in mechanism for stress. And its mechanism... And that mechanism is human connection. 
communicate. Hindi ka nag-iisa. Share. No? Or help people. You know what meron study sa US? Na people will help more throughout their lives and who share more, they're not prone to stress-related types of diseases. They live more. Okay? So sabi ni Dr. Kelly, how you think and how you act can transform your experience of stress. I'm not going to say to you to get rid of stress. And I'm not going to say to you that it's all in your mind. I believe you. It really happens. But I want you to condition yourself that stress is manageable. Is stress is our body's uh, body is our body's response um, to um, a lot of things. But stress is not necessarily bad, right? Asa sa inyo yan kung paano kayo mag-act on it. And ano ba yung viewpoint niya about stress? If you think of it as negative, it will be more negative and it will be more harmful. But what if we think of it as our body's way of motivating us? At our, as our body's way of telling us na go talk to your best friend, go talk to someone that you um, that you love. Stress can make you social. So here are my references. You know what, guys? We may be social distancing, but you are not alone. Thank you for listening. I hope you're um, doing well again and stay safe. God bless y'all.